All right, so for some of you people, this video might be coming out of nowhere. Um, I'm, I'm just going to flash basically all the DMs <clears throat> on the screen. So if you don't want to hear my commentary about it, there, there you fucking go. Go ahead and chew on that. But the reason why I'm leaking this, uh, leaking this part of the conversation, this part of our, our DMs, is because if I have to go quiet on this whole fucking shit, for another goddamn day, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. Um, I've held my tongue on a lot of fucking dumb bullshit for the past, for, for the past year. Um, both things that Tipster has done, Keffels has done, uh, Xander Hall has done. Um, you know, this, this whole community that was that I was slowly inching my way into. You know, the, close, the closer you get to these people, the more you realize how... Um, it, it, it's a bit more than just flaws. It's like just actual fucking just repugnant behavior. Um, and it's not, it's not cool. It's not, it's not cool for me to stay quiet on that when I know that it's fucking wrong. Um, I know this shit's fucking wrong. And, and the reason why I'm speaking about this now is honestly kind of selfish because this shit hits home to me personally. Um, not to be that person, but this, I was affected as a kid uh, by some fucked up shit. And I still carry that with me to this day. Uh, I've gotten therapy for it. I'm pretty chill now. Uh, it used to be so much worse, but that shit destroyed my entire fucking childhood. Um, so when it comes to content about like CSA or CSEM or whatever the fuck, you know, that kind of stuff crosses a fucking line for me to watch these people that I used to respect stick their head in the guillotine to defend a sick freak I, I just, I don't understand, right? And you'll see in the DMs that I was trying to understand. I'm trying to, I'm really, I was being nice. I just wanted to know where he was coming from. And I was met with vitriol. I was met with, fuck you, you're the bad guy. And so because of that, I'm leaking shit. I'm fucking done, Okay. I'm done making excuses for this fucking piece of shit, okay? I understand what the commentary community meant when they said that they hate Toaster. I now fully understand that. After hearing Nicholas DiOrio go over like how he used to be friends with Tipster, after hearing Chris Denark going over how he used to be friends with Tipster, after hearing Bo Blacks going over how he used to be friends with Tipster, I am experiencing that same exact shit right fucking now. And it's over the lolly shit. It's over the fucking lolly shit again. Before anybody says, well, why, why are you making this now? Didn't you know about the rum stuff? I didn't know about the rum stuff. I hardly knew about the fucking rum stuff. Um, the way Tipster told me, because that's the only, that, that was bef before Nick made his fucking video, I only knew it from Tipster's perspective. And that was basically the commentary community was overreacting. They were on a pedo hunt. They were on a pedo lynch. They were hungry to fucking cancel people over pedo shit. They, they saw that rum had accidentally liked the fucking thing and they went after her and blah, 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 all that shit. That's the way I saw it. And I took his fucking word for it because at the time, I didn't think Tipster had any reason to fucking lie to me. And the commentary community, from my point of view, had already had a pretty bad reputation. I have seen, I have been following generally. Um, I was pretty, I would say I was pretty deeply entrenched in the commentary community like fucking five years ago or some shit. I used to watch a lot of, um, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of kill stream, a lot of like internet blood sports shit. Um, and that's how I tangentially knew about the whole, uh, Augie crew and stuff like that. I watched a couple of Augie streams. I sort of left and I got more into politics and debate and stuff like that through, through watching Destiny's content. Uh, so I took a, I took a nap. I took a nap on the, on the drama community and I've only recently been coming back to it for, for this past, uh, two years, I would say. So I missed out on a lot. Um, but throughout that time, uh, the commentary community had a pretty bad impression I had a pretty bad impression of the commentary community. You know, I, I saw I saw how uh, clout chasey a lot of these people were. You know, I saw I saw the John Swan shit happen. Um, John Swan is like one of those one of those main figures and shit like that got out of all this. Shit. I don't want to go over it because I already know who's fucking watching this. I already know the, the kinds of people that are clicking on this video. So you already know about the fucking John Swan shit. I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna relitigate that. But that whole shit happened, and then the technicals thing happened. That's this this is what really put a sour taste in my mouth of about the comments. I'm giving context as to why I did not take your guys' word for it. And I fucking just, 
I just took Tipster's word for it, right? Because when that technical stuff happened, I saw Augie and his whole crew basically go after Technical's brother. And I understand Technical's brother is a fucking creep, but that just felt so low to me. You know, like Tech's brother had nothing, nothing to do with any of this. And you people just randomly made it about him. It, it, it just, it just seemed so extraordinarily petty from my point of view. And I agree. And generally, before that, I generally agreed with Augie. I was like, yeah, Zero is a pedophile. This dude should not be around kids. This dude should not come back. I was totally on that until they started roping in his fucking brother. And I was like, that's kind of bad, you know? So, but I saw, and, and so many people were jumping on that. You know, it, it just, it, you guys came off as really petty. So I took Tips' word for it on a lot of the drama. And, but this Voss shit crossed the line, basically. This Voss shit crossed the line. And I was trying to come to an understanding with Tipster, but he just wasn't, he was doing what he, he was doing, what he most definitely did when the commentary community was trying to get with Tipster, trying to talk to him. It, it was the same thing. They were just met with a stone wall. It was like they were talking to a fucking brick wall um, and he just wasn't listening at all. And then he turns it back on us and then he, he demonizes, he demonizes me. He acts like I'm the fucking bad guy for trying to understand his fucking point of view. I'm the fucking bad guy for warning, up, warning him about like, hey, what do you think about Keffel's donating to Nick, one of your one of your most dedicated haters? What do you think about Keffel's donating to him and talking to him in the DMs about you? What you, like I, I was trying to understand? It's like how how does that not bother you? And then it calls me a fucking idiot. <laughs> like you think I didn't know that? We'll go over it. So. We'll just jump right into it. We'll just jump right into it. We'll just jump right into it. But basically, how this all started, I saw I saw Tipster's defense of you know um, I saw I saw Tipster's like uh, not defense, but I saw him you know calling out H3 for being bad faith about Vosh. And from that from that first fucking point, from that first fucking point, I was like, what are you talking? They literally showed Vosh giving context. So right off the bat, I'm like, what are you talking? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, are you, did you watch the same stream that I did? They literally showed Vosh given the context and they still haven't recognized that, you know? They just said like, oh, you just played that burst. You just played that big burst of clips. How dare you take Vosh out of context? It's like, but they're literally, I'm literally watching them give, I'm literally watching them watch Vosh give the context to his clips. <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyways, so I was already like, I was already like tipster. What are you doing? This whole, this whole DM thing, started from me um in hunter avalon's chat as he was covering the voss shit tipster was also in there and i talked about the vegan gains debate because voss had said some fucking nasty shit i'll just fucking read it i'll just read it i had to leave hunter's stream because i'm at work but can you send me the link to the de to that debate i sent them the link to the debate and i said it's around the one hour mark on the dot he said listening now I'm still listening, but it seems like the continuation of his moral consistency argument, not actually advocating for CP. But again, I agree. Horrible analogy. There are millions of other examples to use to make that point that he could have used that were less controversial. Yeah, he's not advocating for it, but he thinks it's not immoral to consume CP at a sake of consistency, which is really hardly any better than straight up advocating for CP. He says, I think he intentionally went for the shock value example for attention. It worked with Destiny with the incessant pragmatic CP argument. So it's not as... It's, but it's not the same fucking thing. It's not the same fucking thing. I really wanted to fucking scream at him over this shit. During this whole Vosh shit, there's a whole lot of what about this? What about this? What about this other person? What about this other person? What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? He, he does this a lot. What about? What about? What about? What about? He's like, Tipster, no, we're not... We could talk about that later. We're talking about Vosh right now. But he, he does this constantly, like this, uh, this, uh, pivoting, 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 pivoting. It's like it's fucking obnoxious. God. He says, I don't disagree and neither does Vosh. He's, re he's referring to consistency in favor of removing harm, not allowing harm. For the record, I'm not saying that example is okay. I wouldn't use that example fucking... <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't do it, but I don't see anything like I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see anything, but I personally wouldn't do it. It's like what? <laughs> he does. He, this is such an iconic saying of Tipster at this point. I personally wouldn't. I personally wouldn't. It's so stupid, dude. Uh, I said, yeah, it's on it. Yeah, on its own, weird comment, but paired with the lolly, it's not looking good. Synth apparently has Discord chats of Vosh and DGG where he's still insisting consuming CP is not immoral, so he's held his view for a long time. Tipster says, I'm personally waiting for his response. If that's true, and he still holds those views, that's not good. 
that's it's just not good that's not good <laughs> it's just that's all that it is it's just oh that's not good <laughs> oh my god this is what i mean these people are sick of fans like that's all you can say about that that that's not good how about vosh is a fucking freak of nature and he needs to face the okay i can't say that but if it's just a horrible example to prove a point it's just a bad choice of example <laughs> yeah but of all the things in the world of all the things in the world <laughs> he chose his fucking child porn Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, listening to more of the debate beyond the initial point, and it's a continuation argument of the slave labor, which is what I expected. I reply with, but that's the thing. He's not even arguing against it. He's just being morally consistent. He thinks there is nothing wrong with having silicon in your computer that was made from child slave labor. And when asked if he thinks consuming CP is immoral, he says no. It also doesn't help his comment about how a socialist country would lower the age of consent. Like the circumstantial evidence is amounting to some very, very bad shit. And I replied to his reply. I said, yeah, I still don't think he's, a pe I, for the record, I think he's a pedo now because more and more images were uh, discovered and I say more and more. There was a, there was a third another there was another third lolly image discovered in the folder, um, because there there was the initial two. I don't I don't know about like the horse. Like some people saying like oh there's a horse fucking a child. They're like it, it's super blurry. It's honest from what I see. It's super blurry. I don't know, but you know what? It probably is a fucking lolly considering like how much this fucking dude consumes it. But anyways, a third image was found. There's there's disputing. There's people disputing whether or not it's like it, it, there's a child being fucked by a horse or whatever. Uh, I'll take people's word for it. I'm not gonna look into it <laughs> personally. I mean, I've seen I've seen the image. I've seen the image, but it's like super blurry. But I'm not gonna look for the unblurred thing, right? Um, I'm assuming the people who have found the image like it probably is a child. But so there's like four images in four fucking images in that folder. And then now people are bringing up his past and being like, Vosh also he had his like NSFW account. Uh, leaked and there was Lolly in that too. So I think yeah, Flash is probably probably a pedophile But yeah, just to clarify that I said, yeah, I don't think he's a pedo. I need more to come to that conclusion uh, There's plenty now, but what I think is clear that he's a zoophile at least he's definitely got <laughs> tipsters reply <laughs> I'm literally this is me trying to tell him this is me trying to tell tipster you need to look into it You need to look into it. You need to look please look into it. Please look into it this is what he responds with. He says, he's definitely got an uphill battle with this response. So I'm definitely interested to see what he has to say. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it? Like, I'm telling you, it's getting, it's looking bad. It's looking bad. He's, well, he's definitely got an uphill battle. Like, <laughs> motherfucker, look into it. God damn, look into it. Holy shit, dude. This is so unreal. I don't know why the fuck he does this shit. I say, yeah, we can agree on that. Just me just giving up. <laughs> and he says, I will say though, I do find it interesting that all, uh, that of all his defenders, only Keffels and I are being targeted. I'll, I'll address this later in the comment. <laughs> uh, other leftist streamers, big and small, have defended him, but only Keffels and I got shit for it. And our arguments are being misrepresented. <laughs> We're not defending Lolly. We just think there's nothing wrong with what Vosh was. We just we just think that it doesn't matter what was in his folder. We're just gonna blindly take Vosh's word for it and assume that there's there, there's no kind of Lolly con and Vosh Vosh is just a good guy. We're just gonna blindly take his word for it. Yeah. I comment uh, because to be fair, you two are the most vocal from what I've seen, at least initially. People calling you and Keffel's pedos are retarded, but I feel you should really, you really should have seen what those images were because it's bad. And I think if you knew what it looked like, uh, I think if you knew what it looked like, you'd maybe went with a completely different approach. He says, I made one tweet. That's not true. He made, uh, he made several fucking tweets. I like I'm pretty sure at this point he made like the lollipop lollipop Ethan's a lollipop thing I'm pretty sure around this time 214. I don't know. He probably fucking did But no, it wasn't just the the one tweet. It wasn't just the initial tweet he Just he kept you kept at tipster. You kept egging it on you kept egging it on and responding to him like <laughs> He says I made one tweet and Kefels made a tweet to defend me after Ethan called me out by the time we had made further responses, it had already blown up, lol. I literally made one tweet before bed. The next morning when I woke up, it was chaos, lol. I don't know HVM's motives, but I can speculate. But as 
for the commentary crowd, you know exactly what I'm laying down. If I could run back in time, I'd be willing to bet they wouldn't even touch the Vosh story if Keffels and I weren't defend. That's not even true. That's not one of the biggest political live streamers got caught with Lollycon and bestiality porn on his computer. They would tip her. They'd probably talk about it. They'd probably talk about it, regardless if you or Keffels were involved. Uh, you and Keffels being involved is just the icing on the cake, on, on the content cake, tipster. And especially it doesn't help you that you have a history of doing this, of defending people who consume lollycon. It doesn't help, tipster. It doesn't help. <laughs> it also doesn't help that Keffels also has a history of weird shit too. With the bathtub HRT stuff, the, the, the fucking, the, the people that she sponsored, the packaging literally came in like Shotokan. Like, and it says, keep away from parents. Like, <laughs> it looks really bad. It looks really fucking bad. And like, maybe it's a guilty conscience, right? I don't know. If I, if I just knew, God damn, dude. If I just knew how bad things really were, I would have never, I would have never joined that Discord. Oh my God. It's like the fucking butterfly effect. Fucking hell. If I just knew, if I just knew, I would have never joined that Discord. I would just mind in my own fucking business. I said, yeah, they will never have a good faith interpretation of what you're saying. I know you think that lolly shit is gross and disgusting. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. I'm not even saying that because Tipster blocked me on everything and removed me from his fucking and banned me from his Discord and all that. I'm not even saying that because of that. I honestly don't give a fuck. You have a history of just like defending people. Like, I. At first, I thought it was like, well, he's just a ride or die and he's just defending his friends. But then, like, he would go out of his way to defend Chris Tyson and Vosh. So it's like, well, well, hold on. It's not like you're a ride or die. You know, you're defending people who aren't even your friends. And you're throwing yourself into drama that doesn't even involve you to be like, well, hey, how do we know that's even Lollicon? Like the whole fucking diaper fur shit? Like, yeah, how do we how do we know that that's even like uh, like a morally wrong? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God. Oh yeah, and another tidbit about the fucking diaper fur thing. That whole shit, bro. Tips are randomly. Uh, I think I think he brought it up in a in a VC with me when we were when we were in that Discord where he like he brought up the drama that was happening, and then he showed he showed me the uh, he showed me the, the drawing that the person did, and he and he and he asked me because like I'm a furry. He's like asked me. It's like is is this sexual? Is this sexual? I'm like, bro, yes. The diaper for that's a fetish. Yes, it is sexual. <laughs> like that's pretty fucked up. And he was like, oh okay. But he never made a public statement. He never made a public statement of like, you know, guys, actually, you know, it turns out I was wrong. <laughs> he never did. Oh my God. All right. I then go on to say, which is also why I think it would have helped your case to know what was in those images. It's not like the rum shit where it was one etchy picture of a Shota that was overly stylized and artsy fartsy. Like these pictures are fucking bad. And I still kind of stand by that. Um, I think I think Rum has plausible deniability. That's basically my my stance on the whole fucking run. I think she has plausible deniability. I don't think she intentionally liked this lolly image on or Shota image on her public fucking profile. If if she if she knew because it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Like why would Rum ever fucking do that if she liked Lollycon? If she genuinely like liked Lollycon and Shotokan and she was like a pedophile, why would she like that image on her public? Twitter profile where like a lot of people were following her, right? It just doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I think Rum's innocent. But the way Tipsha defended her was like pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what can small can can wi do women just not have small tits? <laughs> like <laughs> bro, you that should not be it looks like it can. You you're, you should never you shouldn't argue. You shouldn't argue if what if it looks <sighs> that's the three thousand year old vampire shit, dude. It's like well, it looks like a kid, but it's a 3,000 year old vampire. So is it really that weird? Yeah, it's still weird, bro. <laughs> Anyways, he responds with, I do find it interesting that as bad as everyone claims these images are, no one has problems downloading them and sharing them around and insisting other people look at them. LOL. It's called, it's called, okay. He acts like, to be clear, there's a very major difference between child pornography like real life child pornography and like 
lollicon, right? Because one, there's an actual child being fucking hurt. The other one is just simulating a child being hurt, right? Huge fucking difference. But they're both bad. <laughs> like, they're both bad, dude. Um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with reposting these images around on the website because fucking idiots like you keep defending this shit. You keep defending it. You defend it. You defend it. You defend it. And I don't know if Tipster still has not. I, I don't know if he still have not seen the images. He might have actually seen the images and that's why he doesn't want to say anything about it. I don't know. But why are you making them out as the weird one when you're the one defending it? Like you're the one who's saying, well, I don't think Vosh is a creep. I don't think Vosh is a pedophile. Even though I haven't seen the images, but I don't think he's a pedophile. I don't think he's a creep. Like you're defending his, you're defending Vosh's consumption. I said, uh, I was just scrolling through Twitter and I got flashbanged with it. And he replies with, let's be real here for two seconds. If I said I seen them, they'd call me a pedo and a lollicon. Uh, if I said I hadn't, they'd say I wasn't being honest because I didn't know what they looked like. There is no winning with those people. And I, I, say, I say the most obvious fucking thing in the world. But I think seeing it genuinely recontextualizes the whole thing. Like Vosh's excuse do not fit whatsoever. It's not short stack. It's not a goblin. It straight up looks like a lolly. And I go on to say, those people don't want to be won over by you. They will shit on you until the end of time. But you should look more into this as a journalist because honestly, Vosh is indefensible with those images being taken into account. Like you can tell it's a lolly because of the face and the body proportion. It's so dead to rights. Like, he says, oh, there's no point, there's no point, there's no winning with these people. It's like, you should not be trying to win over those people. You should be doing it for journalistic integrity, you fuck. Like, what are you talking about? And this, this, this is where he says this. He says this before he did his whole, like, uh, fucking parade on his fucking stream about how, like, Vosh is totally innocent and HG is a bunch of scumbags. Um, he says, at the end of the day, I will make my positions crystal clear here. I did this on stream already, but since the bad faith actors don't listen, no one heard it, but I know you'll listen. I'm anti-lolly, I'm anti-CP, I'm anti-adult... <laughs> what a brave take. What a brave stance. I'm anti-adult slash child sexual relationships, and I've never been in favor of those things ever, period. Also for the record, since this is lost in translation, neither Keffels or myself said it was okay for Vosh to have lolly. Yet you defended it! You defended it! What are you talking about? You defended it! You said, I don't think Vosh is a creep. I don't think he's a pedophile. I don't think he's any of these things. I think these are bad faith. I think these are uncharitable. I think these are wrong. It's like, oh my God. Well, we never said it was okay. <laughs> yeah, but you defended it. You defended it. He's like, well, I think Vosh is a good guy. Uh, we can be charitable and say he may have downloaded it by a It's not a mistake! I'm literally telling him! I'm literally- There is no way it's a mistake! There is no fucking way! I'm literally telling him this! Ah, uh, it's like, this- this is- I see- I see what you guys are talking about. I see what you guys are talking about. Like, Tipster does not listen. He does not fucking listen. Oh my god, dude. It's so aggravating. This is why I'm leaking this shit. Because I just- I cannot- I cannot stand this fucking shit. But we aren't saying it's okay for him to have that shit. That's the that's the only thing that pisses me off here. People are just misrepresenting my position, just like they did last year. Tipster, your position was well. It doesn't look like a kid to me. Uh, it it could very well be a petite person. Like, well, well, I don't I don't really know. There's it's so it's I just I really can't tell. That was your position. That's fucking weird, dude. How do you how can you look at that fucking picture that Rum uh, liked accidentally liked on Twitter and be like, well, huh, that doesn't look like a kid kid to me. Like, what the fuck? What does a kid look like to you? What the fuck? Like. I, I, I respond with, my thing is that there's no way in fuck that, that was a, this was an accident. I'm a real. One image, maybe. Twice, and those were only the recently saved. God knows what else is in that folder. And, you know, lo and behold, there, there's another picture. It's literally the thumbnail of one of the folders. The, literally the thumbnail of one of the folders is Lollicon. <laughs> God knows what else is in So, like, he sorted it. So, that, that's the crazy part, too. He sorted that. Because this was the unsorted folder. And within the unsorted folder, there was sorted folders. Right? And one of the sorted folders, Vosh put Lollicon in that. <laughs> like, so he had to have known. Like, bro. God knows what else is in that folder if he's so comfy with saving it twice in a short time span. You know, oh. I'm, a, I'm a little Nostradamus, what can I say? 
Uh, only sometimes. <laughs> There is no arguing that the dude is gonna have an up. There's no arguing that the dude is gonna have one hell of a defense to convince people. I definitely wouldn't want to be in his shoes, motherfucker, motherfucker. You don't want to be in his shoes, bro. Oh my god, you don't want to be in his shoes, but you're throwing yourself in front of the bullet. You're throwing yourself. You're taking a bullet for him. What are you talking about? Oh my god. I say this later in the chats too, but bro, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta let people burn. Sometimes, sometimes if someone's being fucking grilled and you're like, you know, I had a good impression of this dude, but like the, the shit is like indefensible. Sometimes you just gotta let people burn. You know, it's just like, well, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that. Bro's on fire. I don't want to touch him because I don't want to get caught on fire. I respond with also the bestiality shit is disgusting as fuck too. Then he says, anywho, I gotta go back to work. Thanks for the info. Take care, bro. I'm like, yeah, you too. He still hasn't, like, I don't understand how, like, lefties are so okay with, like, the bestiality shit. I say this as a furry. I, uh, and I know this is probably gonna reach out, like, a different audience, but I think there's a, there's a difference between, like, anthropomorphic fucking furry shit and, like, straight up an animal. Okay? I think there's a pretty big difference there. But... I just, the bestiality shit's like indefensible too. It's just as bad as the fucking lollicon. So I randomly hit him up, uh, cause I was watching Nick's stream and Nick brought up a really good point about how dish, uh, how about, about how tipster is in the echo chamber. And I thought, you know what? You're actually right. I feel like I was sucked into an echo chamber. So I decided, you know, you know what? I'm going to hit tipster up with this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, throw this his way and see how he thinks about this so i say hey i just had a random thought that popped into my head yeah i'm, I'm stealing that fucking shit i'm stealing your your thoughts nick nicholas diario okay whatever uh i'm curious how you feel about it do you feel like you're in an echo chamber um he responds with i wouldn't be talking to you if i was you clearly disagree with my position and yet i'm still willing to have a conversation with you about it i believe i have demonstrated on several occasions that i'm willing to hear the op opposing views even if i disagree with them I say, yeah, I get that. I just started getting the same feelings I was having when I left the right back in 2019 all over again. Like I'm seeing so many people repeat the same talking points while ignoring some of the more pertinent questions. I see that you're kind of wobbling on how you feel about the Vosh stuff. I'm really just saying this to, you know, <laughs> to like lighten, lighten the, the, the cognitive load of what I'm about to say. Um, how you feel about the Vosh stuff and eager to see uh, more context so I'm not talking about you per se but watching Caffold's gay fast jalen etc well jalen to be clear jalen has totally like switched her position on the boss shit because now jalen has seen the images jalen has seen that shit so and instantly when she saw those images she's like damn and she switched she switched her fucking opinion immediately so credit credit where credit is due jalen based cool okay Literally just turn a blind eye to some of the most abhorrent shit gives me the same feeling like I was I just swallowed a handful of sand. Now I'm relooking at all my interactions with these people and I can't help but feel like I was being sucked into an echo chamber. He says, I won't speak on behalf of other people. I don't think that's appropriate, but I'm I don't think that's appropriate, but I'm always open to hearing opposing positions, not even specific to this, but in general. I say, yeah, fair enough. I do think it's fair to ask me that question though. Shows that you're willing to keep me in check. You feel I'm heading down a bad path, and I genuinely appreciate that. <laughs> I genuinely appreciate that. Oh, man. That age like cow shit. That age like fucking cow shit on a hot summer day. Holy fucking shit. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Bans me from his fucking Discord. Blocks me on all social media. <laughs> because I'm like, tipster, no. Tipster, no. Stop. You need to stop, dude. You need to stop going down this path. Tipster, no. Block. Deleted. S stop trying to pop my fucking bubble. I like being in an echo chamber. So then, I leave it at that. I think, yeah, this is like a... Yeah, this is like the, the next day, pretty much. I say, not gonna lie, this Nick stream is bad. It looks bad on your end. Like th this is this is when Nick was like showing all the tipsters past stuff and giving all the context to it, and then I was like, fucking hell. Around this time, I was like, dude, maybe I shouldn't be friends with tipster. <laughs> maybe maybe I shouldn't be friends with this dude. <laughs> 
Uh, and then I bring this up and said, not gonna lie, this Nick stream looks bad on your end. It's like, you think I give a damn about what Nick says about me? And like, th this, this is this is where you can tell he's already like getting agitated, you know, because I'm like, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to like get him to like concede at least a tiny bit that maybe he was wrong. He can't fucking do it. I say like, he's not smearing you as a pedo, but he's showing how like you mindlessly defend people without thinking critically of what they're doing and saying. And he says, I defend people when I feel it is the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, but you feel it's the right thing to do. Is it actually the right thing to do? Is it really like, but he, he, he leaves it. He, makes it so vague. It's like, when I feel it's the right thing to do later on, I try to ask him like, what, what is the right, like, what gives you that impression that this is the right thing to do? And then that's when he fucking block. That's, that's when he like removes me from his fucking socials. That's when he like unfollows me and shit like that. He like, first he unfollowed me on shit and he like took away my homies role in his fucking discord. And then like a couple days after, uh, then he just blocked me on everything. Ugh. I say, don't you think you may or may not be missing some vital context though? Like, I don't think you should address any of this shit on stream, but I think it warrants some introspection on how you approach situations like this. Like you do jump the gun to defend people way too quickly. Sometimes the best thing to do is just wait. And I also reply again, I say, also, I don't think you should address it because the past is the past, you can only move forward. He says, I sent my piece on stream last night and I'm done with this topic. Just waiting for Vosh's response now and I stand by everything I said in that video. I don't give a fuck what some shithead commentary bro thinks about it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm bringing, it's like, it's a bit more than that though. Like you, you, like you keep making the same fucking mistake over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> I said, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Cause I was just like, I was battling bro. I was like, it, Maybe he's a lost cause. <laughs> Maybe he's a lost cause, man. Maybe I can't get to him. And then he replies, he said, and let's not forget they are friends with Lyrics, someone who actually posted Lolly to Twitter and kick hypocrites. I don't think they're actually friends with Lyrics. I don't think there's anything to substantiate that. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they're friends with Lyrics. I think they're just, uh, fucking whatchamacallit. I think they're just, uh, coworkers. I said, didn't Lyrics also defend it too? Like, what was the context to him posting it? And then he posted, he posted like a video of, of Lyrics basically saying, uh, oh guys, yeah, I just like this picture, which t Lyrics has some fucking shit to answer for. Cause I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Lyrics liked straight up Lollicon on his shit too. And like, nobody gave him shit for it. <laughs> Granted this shit happened like a couple years ago. But, and he was a way smaller fucking YouTuber at that time, but bro, like, Lyrics' pass is actually pretty bad. I say, yeah, they should have grinded him to a fine powder over that shit. Uh, then he randomly hits me up February 23rd. He says, hey, you're gay, and that's pretty fucking based. I thought this was like a weird thing, so I just didn't respond. Um, so around the 28th, I started like battling and rummaging thoughts in my head you know like what what do i do what do i do in this fucking situation tipster doesn't want to fucking listen i'm noticing keffel's uh you know i'm i'm re-looking at keffel's past shit and her past allegation i'm like okay so keffel is a massive fucking piece of shit and super fucking shady um i think i need to leave <laughs> i think i need to leave this circle i think i need to go <laughs> i can't be around these people um just morally, just more, not, not even, not even for optics. I'm literally like openly a gay furry femboy. I, and, and, and generally in the commentary sphere, I don't give a fuck about optics, bro. Um, I don't give a fuck about optics. I just, I just want to be, you know, genuine. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking like, I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to get the fuck out of this group. I need to get the fuck out of the circle. So I'll, I'm going to make this video basically denouncing everyone and then leaving everything at that right if people want to unfriend me people want to hate me for it whatever i was perfectly willing to accept all of that shit. that's why i'm not really mad about tips or blocking me i i think it's funny but that's why i'm not mad at him i'm not mad at him i'm not upset at him but i did get upset at one thing that he fucking said and we'll we'll, we'll get into that he deleted it because i think he knew how fucking bad that fucking sounded on his end but um 
So I said, just a heads up, I'm gonna make a video talking about the Vos shit and my frustrations with you and Kefal's defending it, as uh, as well as obfuscating on behalf of him. It's not gonna be a hit piece or anything. I don't keep, I don't know uh, how to even make those, but I have to really ask a few things before I write this segment talking about you. Why the fuck did you ever think it was a good idea to just blindly take Vasha's word for it? Like, I have to know. I don't know why you consistently shoot yourself in the foot when it comes to this lolly shit. Like, it obviously looks like a kid. I don't know why you can't admit it. Like, just entertain this hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> Assume the images are cl is clearly a child. Like, there's no doubt in your mind it is a kid. Don't you think there is something fundamentally wrong with liking that image? What I was hoping this, this would go is he would say, yes, it is fundamentally wrong to like images like that and say, so I would bring up, don't you think you should probably should have looked into what those images were before you defended Vosh? Because if you think those images are fundamentally wrong, don't you think that would have changed your opinion on this whole thing? Don't you think you maybe would have approached this entirely differently? I was hoping that that's what the dialogue would have gone down as, but it didn't. Tester does what Tester does best and he obfuscates like a fucking bitch. Um, he says, I already said, I'm not commenting on this shit anymore. I said all I had to say about it. And I said, okay, fine. Then I have to speculate. I know you said you think this lolly shit is gross and I believe you on that, but I can't help but think you're way too eager to defend some people for whatever reason when you should just let them burn instead. He says, my main defense was of his clips being taken out of context. That was my issue. Well, no, you also said that, well, I'm going to take Vosh's word for it. Cause the main issue is that Vosh got caught with Lollicon and when that was being brought to the fucking table, you said, well, I don't care about that. Well, I don't care about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to address that. My main issue is that you're taking Vosh out of context, which didn't even happen. Sure, they sure Ethan was being bad faith about, you know, the um, when, he, when he was reacting to Vosh giving context to the clips. Sure, Ethan was being bad faith there and wasn't really listening to what Vosh was saying. Uh, in a vacuum, right? Because... To be good faith, you kind of have to listen and take things in in a vacuum, you know, discount everything in the past. But Ethan couldn't do that because he was too busy thinking about this dude got fucking caught with lollicon horse porn. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hard to to take things in in a, in a vacuum when in the back of your mind it's like this dude got caught with like fucking lollicon in his computer. <laughs> like, you could call it bad faith, but it's like, it's, it's understandable. The, the conclusion that Ethan is coming to is completely reasonable when it comes to Vosh. I don't think, I don't think he's fair to like heavily insinuate uh, Kefels and fucking tips are pedophiles just because they're defending him. Um, and he says, that was my issue. I can give him the benefit of the doubt on the shit he had is in his computer. He was dumb and careless for having that shit. Dumb and, care dumb and careless to deliberately click and download Lollicon and then sort it in your folder. Just, just a, just a little careless, dumb and careless, you know. But my main issue from the very start was the clips were being taken out of context. You should already know that because you're, because we've already talked about it. I'm like, I'm, but I'm literally asking you, like, why did you defend him? Like, why, why are you obfuscating on behalf of him? Like, that's pretty. I should have been more clear about that, actually. Now that I think about it, I should because like you're, he's, you're literally obfuscating on behalf of him. You're like saying, well, I don't care what was in the folder. Vosh isn't a pedophile. Like, what if, what if what was in the folder was like actual child? <laughs> what if, what if it was actual real life child? <laughs> like, are you going to say, are you going to discount that now? Are you going to say, well, I don't care what's in the folder. You're taking him out of context. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I say, yeah, but why give him the benefit of the doubt when the image is clearly depict children? Everyone that has seen the image that isn't a Vosh sycophant says they are kids. Even Femyaz and Jalen, two people who really like Vosh, saw the images and had to change their mind. I understand it's a bit late to walk things back, but I just want to understand why. You have a pattern of giving an unreasonable amount of charitability to some, some heinous shit. Do you just hate the cancel culture shit people try and do? And then he fucking responds. He deleted this message, but he responded with, Whatever, bro. Go make the video and go make your bag. That, this is the shit that was like, okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Like, this, this was what made me be like, fuck you, tipster. Fuck you. Like, literally. Like, you're a piece of shit. Go get that bag. Go get that bag. Really? Really? You think I, gay furry femboy, am gonna make bag for making a video on fucking you? Like, bro. Go, like, I'm 900 subs. I barely anybody watches my fucking videos. And I'm making, I'm literally telling you I'm making this video because this shit is frustrating. 
go get that bag. Like that, that comment just really just. And he said the same thing to someone else in his fucking stream. He said, he said, whatever, bro, go, go get that bag. Whatever you got to do, man. Like and to some people, it's about the bag, but to me, it's not, it never was right. It never was. And he knows this. He's seen, he's seen some of my fucking older videos. He's seen, he's seen, he's seen the kinds of things that I talk about. He's seen, it's not about the bag. I literally talk about things that nobody fucking care about, cares about. I literally talk about shit. No one gives a fuck about. Okay. So I respond with, it's not about the bag. Hardly anybody watches my video. I make videos on things that interest slash bother me. And this shit bothers me. And he says, I asked you nicely to leave me alone. Please don't make me ask again. I'm sorry. It's been a lot. I don't want to talk about it anymore. There is a lot going on that for obvious reasons I can't talk about. So I'm just keeping it to myself. I say, fair enough. I'll just end the topic on this. I can tell you genuinely care about your friends. Arguable to a fault. If I were you, I'd slowly distance from Keffels because I think she's, I think if she sinks, she'll drag you down with her. Just keep in mind how she reacted when it blew up in her face. So if you don't know, for some reason, uh, when, when this whole shit blew up in Keffels face and people started looking into her past uh, and being like, damn, this is actually like really fucking sussy. This is really fucking bad looking. Uh, she decided to say, fuck Vosh. I hate Vosh. Um, yes. Uh, you know, fuck Vosh. He's a piece of shit. He's a weirdo. I cannot believe, you know, this, this, this shit is happening to me. I can't believe Vosh did this to me. You know, <laughs> she, she was literally blaming Vosh for herself, throwing herself into the pit and defending him. Like, I, <laughs> he can't. and then when people were saying, people were saying the, the comment that gets me where she says, no, it's not about, it's not about, you know, what is right because if, if it was about that i'd tell you to go outside right if i actually wanted you to guys to be like politically uh advantageous uh, i'd tell you to go outside um it's all entertainment it's all for entertainment like those comments just like damn 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 she just doesn't fucking care wow it's literally a grift she that was that that discord chat is literally her telling her audience to their face it is a grift it is for entertainment. It is for money. It is for attention. That is what that is what this is for. That is what I do. Is grift. That is literally her saying that. <laughs> I don't advocate for shit. It's just all for entertainment. So you're grifting. So you're grifting. Because every time you get cornered like this, you go like, I'm trans. You're transphobic. All these people, all these people, you're transphobic. Look at, look at your replies. Look at your public Twitter replies where you can't control who's who's replying. Look at this. You're transphobic. Every time she makes it political. She play, she does this id poll shit constantly. So that shit really just fucking... That shit was like, damn. Okay, so she's just a fucking... She's a piece of shit. Gotcha. I continue on. I say, if I was in Vosh's situation... I wouldn't want you or Kevils defending me, not because you'd make it worse, but because it's genuinely not worth defending. And he says, and yet Kevils has been the one to have my back during all of this. But yeah, she's the one I should distance myself from, right? So after this, I say, all right, fine. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not even going to press him on it. So I'm going through and I'm writing the script and stuff like that. I'm getting like necessary clips and stuff like that. And then I remember from that Nicholas Diorio stream that Kevils actually donated. And she said, damn, Nick, Nick is really cooking him. Damn, Nick is really cooking tipster right now. Damn, Ooh. Nick kind of has a point. <laughs> like, she did that publicly. So that's kind of fucking weird. Uh, Nick writes it off as a joke. But then the next day, I think it's the next day, he literally opens up his, he, op he fires up another stream to give a minor update. And he says, Keffel's actually talked to him in the DMs about tipster. And then he says that she said something really funny and she knows he's going to leak it, but he's going to save it for his video on when he does a segment on Tipster. That sounds pretty weird, right? So, I mean, but this had thousands of viewers. So I figured Tipster was already aware of this. So I, this is what I reply with. I like, I, I reply to that comment a few days later and I say, this is Keffel's FYI. She donated to Nick, talked about you in the DMs with him, and Nick said it was so funny that he's going to include it in his Vosh video when he does a segment on you. What do you think about that? 
this is and i show i showed the clip of of um nick talking about it this is what she said in his last stream she donated this after he was talking about your horrible lolly takes i get that you're a ride or die to a fault but she is not she will take an out even if it means burying you and then this is his last response to me <laughs> he says do you think i don't know about this are you stupid <laughs> like I figured you were already aware of this because thousands of people were watching it, tipster. I'm asking what you think about it. <laughs> and he fucking blocks me. <laughs> he blocks me before I can even say it, dude. <laughs> oh my god. And the funny part is, is that he uh he he sub he subtweeted about me. He subtweeted about me. <laughs> Check this fucking shit. Or maybe he blocked me on Twitter. Let me see if I can pull this up. <laughs> Yeah, this is he tweeted this about me. This was about me. Bro, I know. Cause this was literally like the day after. The day after I confronted him on this shit. He says, in this space, people are far too quick to abandon friends at the first sign of trouble. That's not how relationships work. When your friend are in a tough spot, when your friends are in a tough spot make a mistake or hit hard times don't leave their side to save yourself stand by them because that's what they need that's what they need you most for guidance <laughs> are you kidding me oh my god dude i cannot believe i was friend was this dude fuck tipster god dude this fucking shit are you kidding me <laughs> In this space, people are far too quick to abandon friends. I was literally trying to warn you. I'm literally trying to understand you. And I'm trying to warn you about shit that could f fuck you over. I'm the bad guy? Really? I'm the bad person here? I'm the one, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to uh, quote unquote abandon you. That was never the fucking case. I was making that fucking video because I, because if uh, your defense of Vosh frustrated the fuck out of me. And it bothered the fuck out of me. Because I cannot stand that lolly shit. I cannot stand it. But you seem to have a fucking weird amount of fucking tolerance for it. For some fucking reason. I understand why you defended Rum. I, I, again, I think Rum has a lot of plausible deniability. But then there's, then there's the, uh, there was the fucking diaper shit. Then there was the, uh, the Chris Tyson shit. And then there was also, like, you commenting about, like, some girl had, like, the body of, like, a fucking child or whatever, even though she was a fully grown adult. And, like, people were saying, people were saying, like, oh, you know, I'm worried, I'm worried about my daughter or I'm worried about my, uh, I'm worried about my daughter, you know, because pedophiles are probably going to go after her and stuff like that. Like, there was literally a joke in, uh, in, in Invincible about this kind of shit. It's like, oh, she looks like a kid, but she's technically, like, fucking 20 or some shit. Um... You know, and, and like, and like, that's a genuine worry for people who have that disorder. And then Tipster jumps in and is like, "Well, well, there's nothing wrong with that because they're an adult. Like, if people, people think like just injecting yourself into that shit." And then he drops this fucking little nugget. He drops this little interesting nugget, and I want to show it. All right, this is he drops this really fucking interesting comment. He says, "Pedos aren't attracted to people who look young." They're attracted to people who are young. By that logic, anyone who is attracted to Kiwi, Sunset, or Belle Delphine is a pedo, SMH. Tipster, you you literally just made the 3,000-year-old vampire excuse. <laughs> you, like, unironically made the 3,000-year-old vampire excuse by accident. I understand you didn't mean to, but... Bro! <laughs> I understand he's talking about, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting in a relationship with that girl who has that disorder. But I think if you're deliberately going after people who look like children, but aren't technically children, I think you're a pedophile. I think you're, I think you're a pedo. Like, I don't, like JF, I think JF's a pedophile because he deliberately goes after girls who's, who are mentally like 12 years old. He deliberately goes after women that are like that. I think he's a pedophile. And plus, it doesn't help that he got also got funded by Epstein, too. Not a lot of people know that, but JF Garapy got funded by Epstein. Um, 
this whole shit i'm kind of i'm kind of glad tipster i'm kind of i'm kind of glad he did all this because I wasn't I wasn't going to abandon him. I wasn't I wasn't going to be like fuck you tipster forever over over this Voss shit. I was I just felt like I needed to express myself. I needed to make myself clear on where I stand on this shit because I can't stand next to you when you're cool with that, when you're cool with that and you're okay with that shit. You're okay with defending and making excuses for that shit. But I need to make myself clear. I wasn't going to abandon you over this shit cuz uh, I mean well unless if tipster got caught with like actual lolly then I would be like all right, see you later, bro. Forever. Um, but I wasn't. I've disagreed. I've hard disagreed with some of my friends in the past. Like I'm literally friends with some people who like who voted for Ron DeSantis and shit like that. Uh, you know, I can see someone past their politics. I can see people for who they are past their politics, past their personal opinions about dramas. Okay, there, there's more to people than that. Than, than just our opinions on things, okay? But the fact that you're demonizing me, you're making me the fucking bad guy. Like I'm trying to get that bag. Like I'm trying to abandon, I'm looking for an out, I'm abandoning you. That was never the fucking case, dude. And then you do this shit, and then this is how you fucking treat me. I'm fucking glad you got rid of me on everything. Cause I cannot be chill with that. I cannot be cool with that shit. I'm not saying this to be performative. I'm saying this to someone who was affected by child sex abuse. Okay. I have a zero tolerance policy on that fucking shit. Because I know how that shit affects people. And I don't think that kind of stuff should be encouraged through pornography. I don't think, I don't care that Lolly isn't real. I don't, I don't care that it's fictional. It is encouraging that mindset and that is fucking dangerous. And Tipster knows this because I told it to him when he was covering the food shop shit. I was literally showing him, it's like, this lolly consumption is dangerous. It's dangerous, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. You cannot like, but he doesn't fucking listen. He doesn't listen. It goes in one ear and out the fucking other. So you know what? I'm done. I'm done. This is the end. That's it. Okay. Over. It's over. It's over. All right. We're done. So that's the that's the tipster that's the tipster segment. Uh, look forward to look forward to um, I'm gonna make this a main channel video because look forward to I'm I'm writing out the script because breaking down my relation to to Keffels and stuff like that and my my like I I need I need to explain how I feel about this shit because I just I held my tongue for so fucking long I'm I'm tired I'm tired of it so. I'm just going to make that video, make that a main channel video, and then the Midwest Angelica video should be coming uh, maybe uh, sometime. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like putting dates on things, and I don't like, I don't like making promises of content and stuff like that. You know, I don't, I don't expect the Midwest Angelica video to do good, but I mean, who fucking knows? Whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the video. <laughs> God, fuck me, dude.